afternoon for it, fishing off the break wall for brim, winter spawning season. Ah, oh, just a little brim. Oh, it's not too bad actually. Oh. Almost big enough. Catch of the day goes to this little fella. He's got himself a fish three times the size of him. Oh, oh no! Sorry, bud. Better love next time. How you going, Jared? You catching anything? <laughs> Hey Jared, we've been here for six months. We need to get back to building that house, remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're building that house. Righty, just a couple more hours, then we'll get back to building that house, eh? Righty, let's go. It's been a long six months on the rocks here. G'day again viewers, Tarn's here back on the mountain, finally, it's um, it's been a few months since the last video, so that didn't exactly go to plan, but um, I had some other projects that I was working on, and um, got pretty busy with work, and also the weather hasn't been very good the last few months, We um, it was a lot of rain and we had to um, wait for it to dry up before I could do what I wanted to do with the house, which was um, the foundations and stuff. But we got through it, and um, that's what today's video is mostly. I've got some footage of us um, building the foundation, the terrace, where that we've cut out the side of the hill here with the dozer, and um, where the house is going to go. Um, also removing some of the last few cheeky stumps that are in the middle of the place, that are um, right bang where the house is going to go. And they were super fun to pull out of the ground. Um, yeah, what else is there? Oh yeah, I got my internet going, which is really good. Um, yeah, that took a long time. It took me months to get it figured out out here in um, this area. Obviously, um, not a whole lot of telecommunications infrastructure. But um, I wrote a letter and got some advice from an NGO about an MBN connection, fixed wireless. And um, originally we were mapped as out of coverage. But um, looking at the topographic maps, it was sort of obvious to me that we, we should have been able to get a signal. So yeah, I got a desk check done and got us mapped as um, available. So yeah, I've got the internet going out here, which is really cool, out in the bush, but super fast, nice internet. And um, yeah, the connection starts up at my dad's shed, and then I built a ubiquity nano beam bridge that goes through the forest for a few hundred meters, and it's yeah connected down here as well. So that's working good. Um, yeah, that's probably one of the most major updates. And um, what else is there? I've got some fish and stuff that I caught a couple of days ago that we'll probably cook up and have a look at that. Have a nice dinner, fish and some veggies on the fire. But yeah, this is essentially just 
a reintroduction video as I've been away for a while but there'll be a lot more to come soon because I want to get this house done by the end of the year and start working on some other fun stuff so yeah getting back at it and um, yeah I'll see you soon cheers Radio, here we are. We've just terraced out the patch a bit more with the dozer. And now we're trying to get rid of this giant twin stump. Yeah, so this stump is a bit much for the dozer to pull out. So we're just going to do our best. Chainsaw, crowbar. See if we can dig it out a bit. It doesn't have to go too far further down as the house is going to be on top of it. If I come out. Oh, look at that, too easy. Yeah, some of them will probably need a bit more. The end of another good day. Visibility is pretty good out in the valley this afternoon. There you can see the terrace. 
got most of that stump away. It's low enough anyway, the house is going to go on top of it. But anyway, we've got some nice veggies here that I'm going to cook up, show in a camp oven, and um, also a few fish. So I'm just going to chop these up and throw them in, get them going. Should be good. Have to cut everything nice and thick, just rough. Oop, there goes that to the wallabies. some capsicum ground there this time next year. There we go. Heaps of veggies, nice big pot. It's gonna take me forever to eat all these, probably a few days. Just added some olive oil and some herbs and spices. Mix them all in a bit. Now we can throw it over on the fire. Take a couple of hours to cook. Good stuff. And yeah, I got the fire going. Nice little bit of coals in there, and a small fire. There's always more than enough heat. There we go. Too easy. Just prep the fish and put that on. After these have cooked for a while, fish will only take like 10 minutes to cook. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, cool. So I've got some yellow fin brim here that I caught the other day off the rocks. Nice and fresh. I just prepared those by scoring them a bit and then rubbing some oil and some spice mix. It's just, I think it's like steak spice mix or something, but I'm not sure I won't get in trouble for using it on fish. And put some lemon inside as well. So yeah, I might go throw those over in the pot. So yeah, cool. I've thrown the fish in the pot. They're looking pretty happy in there. Um, they were not going to take long at all to cook. Probably like 10-15 minutes maybe. It's a pretty hot pot. And fish doesn't take long at all. But yeah. Cool. Smells so good. Right here. The fish has been in there for like... 12, 13 minutes maybe. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, now we're talking. That looks awesome. Pretty much done. Maybe another minute and then I'm gonna dish it all up. It smells so good, the veggies are, smell amazing. Pretty spectacular. Fish is looking awesome. Veggies smell good. Bit more lemon. Cool, dig in. Try one of these bits of vegetable first, I think. Very good, exceptional. Oh yeah, I'll get a bit of fish happening. Yep, falling apart. That's the goods right there. Oh yeah, zesty, nice. Well, very good, I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys, obviously. A um, lot more happening soon. I know there was a bit of a break there for the first half of the year, but I'm super keen to get this um, house finished by the end of the year. Um, probably have another video up in a week or so where I profile the house and um, put some string lines up and start digging some holes for these posts. It should happen pretty fast from now on now that we've got a place to build it.